I'm Angie, and you're watching Dante's 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 Vaccinating. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Teddy Atlas, he received a lot of backlash following the Teofimo Lopez victory over Josh Taylor when he went to his Twitter account and compared Teofimo Lopez to Floyd Mayweather. I tweeted, I had a lot of tweets out there. I know you read them and I know a lot of people read them and I'm, I'm glad they did. Um, but I tweeted that Lopez has the same ability, I believe, as Floyd Mayweather did to perform under emotional chaos because for them it's almost normal they've lived in it and I, I guess it turned out to be along those lines because I don't see any of this stuff out there in that crazy place called the internet unless somebody you know brings it to my attention right and um but I got a little something to pick in from in between my teeth or my toes or you know um whatever whatever excuse for being rude uh, for a moment is because I, I wasn't comparing his talent to Floyd's or his boxing style to him, obviously, or saying he's as good as Floyd. I was just making one point. He handles emotional stress like him when there's a fight. Listen, guys, no matter how Teddy Ellis tries to explain it, at the end of the day, he was comparing Teofimo Lopez to Floyd Mayweather. Just like Dan Raphael years back was comparing Lomachenko to Floyd Mayweather. The pattern has always been the same with old media. Now, Teddy Atlas, he says, I wasn't talking about his skill. I wasn't talking about his talent. I wasn't saying he was as good as Floyd Mayweather, but he's comparing him to Floyd Mayweather of all fighters. And this entire show right here Teddy Atlas was continuously praising Teofimo Lopez when it came to his ability to counterpunch. And throughout this show, Teddy Atlas, he continuously said that Teofimo didn't even throw a lot of punches in this fight. He didn't throw a lot of punches. And Josh Taylor, he was throwing punches, but he was ineffective because he wasn't landing anything. Basically saying that Teo was making Josh Taylor miss and making him pay. He complimented Teo on how smart he was in a ring. But when Floyd Mayweather was fighting, and to this day, Teddy Atlas has never complimented Floyd Mayweather on any of those traits. Some people are going to probably push back a tiny bit. I don't think much, but a tiny bit. Some of the people that maybe think this stuff out a little bit more thoroughly and they think they're onto something, and maybe they are, but they're going to say something like, well... Maybe it should have been closer because Theo wasn't doing a lot. of, It wasn't moving his hands a real lot. And the other guy was moving his hands. But, but the other guy wasn't landing, number one. Number two, I'll tell you why I thought it was not close. Theo controlled the rhythm of the fight. The other guy had no rhythm, the, whatever. But Theo, he controlled. The other guy looked robotic. But Theo created an, a, the rhythm, found the rhythm had the rhythm of the fight and he he landed the the more stunning telling punches the more effective all night long and because of that that's professional scoring criterion it's not amateur who it's not who throws it's who lands and who impacts he landed when he landed he didn't throw a lot the fighter that controls the rhythm of the fight the fighter who's not throwing a lot of punches but the punches that he does throw are extremely effective. And he's making his opponent's punches extremely ineffective. You could say this about Floyd Mayweather. You could say this about Shakur Stevenson. But when Shakur Stevenson is doing this and he's doing it better than Teofimo Lopez, Teddy Atlas calls Shakur Stevenson boring. We know what time it is. At the end of the day, based on everything Teddy Atlas said in this show, he was comparing Teofimo Lopez's talent, his skills in the ring, and all of his traits to a Floyd Mayweather, which begs the rhetorical question. They don't like Floyd Mayweather. They despise Floyd Mayweather. But why are they always comparing all of the fighters that they like today to Floyd Mayweather? 
Why aren't they comparing a Tio Fimo, a Lomachenko, or whoever? Why aren't they comparing them to a Manny Pacquiao? Why aren't they comparing him to a Canelo Alvarez? The majority of fighters had to get in the ring while going through emotional chaos in their personal life. That's normal in the sport of boxing. That's the reason why people say the sport is 80 to 90% mental. Not only that, but when someone is trying to take your head off, I promise you that's the only thing you're going to be focused on at the time. Remember, it wasn't that long ago that right after Javante Tank Davis knocked out Hector Garcia, Eddie Hearn, he reacted by saying that Javante Tank Davis is not a deep thinker and he's inarticulate. You know, like any normal human being, <laughs> having gone through what he went through in the last couple of weeks, probably would have just called the fight off firstly because like he's making weight and then obviously most people would just go off the boil and like just eat something and then like just implode but the dangerous thing about Javonta Davis and this is one of the things that makes him as dangerous as he is is he's not he, he's not a deep thinker you know he's not an he, he's not an articulate young man you know he's a he's a he's a, he's a bad kid like, and I say that I don't mean that in a in a disrespectful way I'm talking about this is a kid he's a bad mm. right? right just like Mike Tyson was just like some of these other greats were and that makes them very, very dangerous. So according to what Eddie Hearn said about Javante Tank Davis, I guess that means he's about to come out and say the exact same things about Teofimo Lopez for being able to perform so well under emotional chaos. I'm gonna close out with saying this. You know, the best thing about people like Teddy Atlas or even Eddie Hearn saying the things that they say, because it is a complete reflection of what all of these race fans think in the sport of boxing. The only difference is we get to put a face and name to the person who says it and a significant name in the sport of boxing. So when Teddy Atlas is comparing Teofimo Lopez to a fighter that he despises like Floyd Mayweather, when Dan Raphael was comparing Lomachenko to Floyd Mayweather, they are admitting something that a lot of us smart people already knew, which is they wanna have their own Floyd Mayweather. They just wish he came in a different color. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com, like them on Facebook, and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com.